Welcome back to the Rondack Junction. Today we're taking a look at the large-scale train show at the Springfield Big E Convention Center. The last show I went to here was the, the big train show. Everything at this show is O-scale, G-scale and up, and a lot of big layouts and a lot of big trains. So, sit back and enjoy the show. by the Hudson Valley Large Scale Railroad Club in Princeton, New York. Try and catch that on the engine. It looked like a Southern Pacific, but I wasn't totally sure. A lot of nice T-scale buildings in the stock. Not Baltimore, Ohio, or Southern Pacific, it was BO. Big Nikon fuel plant. Got a nice carnival going on here. Not sure what that building is. Two in for loop. I really like this light mass. Looks good. That's a valley. Let's go where we go. with rear grand jeeps. Oh, 
All this stuff is for sale. The classic MW J class. I don't know if that's a Fairbanks Morse or a Jeep. These look like they're tin. Some live steam. Looks like one and a half inch scale. Real nice engine too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm talking loud enough, but my throat is shot because of being sick lately. A couple of egg liners. The last train show video I did, uh, I didn't get any of the vendors, so... I mm, well, guess I'm getting the vendors this time. These are G-scale cars. Stockton train catalog, 2024. There's his markers on them. I wonder if they actually light up. <laughs> Couple of uh, EMDs in scale. All my boxing. Oh, oh, hey, doesn't this boxy little thing look familiar? I thought it was yellow. It works for a key fob. Oh. Yeah. It actually went to sleep on me, but... Um, so that's forward, back, bell, and then uh, horn. That's actually pretty cool. Can I... Yeah, yeah uh, I only turned it on. Well, I have one of these in seven and a quarter inch scale, same one, so uh, 25 a, tonner. So they make a kit. You can, uh, they sell these this way, complete, but they also sell a kit with the fob and All the right. boards. And then you can install that, assuming you have the room in the locomotive, you can install the, um, the transmitter in anything that's got enough space. Nice. Yeah. I wonder if it would work for, uh, because I've got like a live steam scale one. Yeah, I wonder if it would work for something like that it too. It probably would. It's, I mean, it's pretty small. I mean, the board <laughs> is like... So then, yeah, I don't know what Well, you can fit. see, I mean, this this thing's got a battery pack in the nose, a motor, and then that transceiver board all in there. Yeah. So you can see it doesn't take up a ton of room. Nice. Here we have a bunch of scenery sheets. and support structures. It's not just locomotives that are getting sold at this show. Scale are slightly more familiar with. HO scale. Really good quality stuff there. Okay. Some assembly required. Yeah. Some 
British Ogre. buildings, industries and such. T250 coming up, and maybe we'll see this paint scheme again. Maybe I'll pick up something new. Who knows? Now, this is some nice woodwork. Handmade wooden trestle. Probably the one with the train I've seen today.
take a look at the Celeste Transportation MOW train. We have another pass by the Pan Am RCS. have to check if Celeste is a fictional railroad or if it's an actual railroad. It's some really nice detailed equipment. Going down a little bit further, the CSX train is coming back. Love this bay window. Trio of Dash Nines. Well, yeah, they're all Dash Nines. And it looks like they're Celeste leases. Oh, that that happened. <laughs> I didn't do it. No, it's the train's too long to go through the curve, so there's a lot of stress. You know, like, yeah, this is pretty heavy equipment I here. Should have, I should have put one of the engines in the middle. DPU! <laughs> That's who's running the CSX train. Oh boy. You're getting flagged down at the end of the train. Yeah, this is all Springfield Terminal, which, you know, is not too far outside the door, actually. You can see it from here. The diesel maintenance facility back there, if I didn't mention that already. I have confirmed that Seleski is a fictional area. As the owner of all this equipment, is Scott Seleski. Nice guy. He's him right there. Dragon produce. What do they do there? Hmm. Oh, that took off. Along with Dragon Produce, there's a nice little lumber yard right here, Ross Lumber. Uh, the NS train is back, and I now know how many cars is on this thing. 85 cars plus a PRR caboose. This thing's got some work behind it, too. Those are nice. Now, are these the Alcos too, or are these the... Uh... You can run the map for us. Sure. Indoors, outdoors, doesn't make any difference. Hmm. Well, no, I meant, are they Alcos? These are the uh, FAs? They're FAs. That's, yeah, FA and FB. Okay. I really like these B&O ones. Take 
Got some road gauge stuff to. It's got a lot of red on it. I wonder if that's weathering. sorts of stuff everywhere. It's a hand-painted brass model. Really nice work. I happen to have three of those so you could do a nice triple header mm -hmm. at home. If I had G-scale stuff set up anywhere, I would love to. What do you do? What scale? Seven and a quarter. Oh, geez. Yeah. Where am I from? Uh, I'm from New York, so I usually run up at Adirondack Live Steamers. Oh, okay. Mm, pretty stuff down there. Nice garden pond. Shoot, there's ones bigger than this, like that one. Wow, yeah. I have one. I should know. Run at Pioneer Valley sometime. I'm here to go to the hand control. Yeah. That's nice. See what happened to me on the first day? Where? Thank you. Looks kind of familiar. Your house.
set and auto save. The class yard up there. right there. <clears throat> and a nice drive-in theater room with an actual movie playing. Not sure what movie that is. got here recently that's the Golden Spike Club car for the year all right and the um, Maxi Forest just showed up oh the three packs yeah. yeah is this coming out soon or is this uh um... no, that's a pre-production sample Ooh. Um, yeah shut her off for a while because it's a little warm yeah it uh, runs really well sounds good nice oh, yeah. back online it don't want to. Yeah, no, it's still warm up. Capacitor's got to charge up. Uh, mm. Or it may just want to stay quiet for a while. Yeah, feed the rest. Sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's been running all, all morning, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like, yeah seven showed up recently. Nice. V8s. Um, I wonder what they're gonna. I wonder if they're gonna take this. I wonder if they took the sticker unit and then made that the Western Maryland Heritage. That's a good question. I don't know. Because I worked for CSX, I've run the sticker unit. Yeah. <coughs> I'd have to look at the roster list again. Yeah. And see if that's still out there. If they someone peeled the sticker off of it. You guys should sell the war pumpkin as a as a version of it. That's a good idea. Good idea. War bonnet with a pumpkin in it's the middle of it. Idea. Yeah. I saw that rolling through upstate not too long ago. Nice. I don't know if I already got these. Oh, I'm sweeping those on again. Pushy sonic with some flex around the course. Okay. 
Shell. Wonder if oh they did. That's one of those rotaries that you could actually use. Greyhound FEF Northern. And of course you got it. I think we're going to end the video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. I tried to put more vendors in on this one because uh, people were asking about the vendors in the last show. Alright, hope you enjoyed.